Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to improve our little game that we created in the last video. We are going to have our player follow the mouse movements and also be able to consume those little cells. We'll have the score written right over here and much more. Follow this up. Okay, we need to initialize a function that calculates is there a collision between two circles. We will have two arguments, circle one and circle two. We'll calculate the distance of those objects and we'll get the square root out, root out of it. And if there is a collision, we just return true. We also need to have rectangle to circle collision. Uh, we'll calculate the distances between those. If the distance is too far, we just return false. Otherwise, we return true. And we'll have little calculations over here to make sure that all the function works properly and doesn't miss anything else. Our player needs to have little modifications. We will need to have angle over here towards the destination so we can calculate the speed of the player by x and y we will need to have aim that's the final destination of our player and also score we'll need to have also is hit so if the player gets hit by the enemy then we will just um, make it invincible for two seconds We'll also add the block element, which will be our enemy itself. It will have also width and height. Our cells need to have radius and our radius is uh, used to calculate the distances between the objects. So now we can go to the end of our file and add our uh, event listener. We will set our player's aim x to client x and y to client y from the event and our function uh, loop calls itself only once let's change it a bit and we'll have request animation frame over here it will just automatically calls itself whenever the browser has enough resources for it let's add distance x and distance y uh, variables will calculate towards uh, uh, towards which direction our player will go. We'll use uh, math uh, atom seg uh, to function, which will calculate the uh, angle of the player, and with this one will have help us to calculate the speed of the player with cosinus and sinus. If we will check if there is collision between the player and between the final destination then we will have our player just uh, stay at that at the same place otherwise we will add to its x and y the speed of the player multiplied by 5 so we don't get too slow game let's check it out and our player moves now we can add a little check right over here if our player has collision with the cells um, I we will just reinitialize our cell otherwise uh, we will have our cell just uh, drawn at the same place we can also add some score to our player so it's gonna be more interesting to play Okay, now we can check if uh, player's radius is less than 50. We can also increase the radius of our player. Okay, cool. Something is missing right over here. We need to also add um, score to our screen to see how much score we have. We'll use red color and 40 pixel size. Let's see. Now we have our score written on the screen pretty easy let's also draw the block that we had on the top we are going to use purple color and fill rect function we will set all the dimensions and sizes of that block and we will need to go up right over here after our uh, clear rect function because the movement of this block needs to be calculated before everything else we will increase the y to 7 pixels each time 
and we will check if the y of the block is more than canvas height then we will just reinitialize our element we'll set the x either to zero to one third of the canvas weight or to two third of the canvas weight we'll choose randomly out of it and we will set the y property to minus 100 let's check it out as well okay and it appears to work okay now we can go right over here and check if player is not hit and if there is a collision between our player and the block we will decrease the score of the player by 100 and if the score is less than zero we will force it to be zero we'll decrease the radius of our player by 10 and if the radius of our player is less than 10 we'll set it to be 10 and we will set our players heat to true so this statement does not work multiple times with the same block and we will make our player invincible basically and whenever uh, two seconds passes we will reinitialize is heat property to false so our player will no longer be invincible now we get hit our score gets gone and our uh, radius also decreases if you have more than 100 uh, score then you will basically get a minus 100 so as you can see it's 30 and we don't get the same uh, hit by the same block multiple times that was all for today thank you for watching and you can find the source code down in the description and i really appreciate your help you can leave a thumbs up or a comment suggestion down below and i'll see you in the next video